Hi guys, welcome to my mukbang. I am currently standing over my pizza. And I'm standing because I have to cut it and I don't know, I think you're supposed to wait for it to cool down because let me show you, I have my tools over here. <gasps> no, don't drop, okay. I have this and this. So basically I wanna show you how like, this cheese is like swimming. It's very like swimming. So I want to like cr like get a little harder, but I don't want like really hard cheese. I like soft cheese. But I think, I don't know. <gasps> Whoa, did you see what happened? It just, yeah, it's like a hot mess of cheese. So I have to let this solidify. Oh my gosh. But this is a recipe mukbang. So I'm gonna show you guys step by step how to make this sausage cheesy vegetable healthy pizza. Very healthy. Um, and. Let me show you. So here we go, step by step. Without further ado, take a look and hopefully you grab something to eat so we can start eating together. Okay, my little sloths. So the first step is to have your dough prepared overnight so that it's risen. Okay, so let's work on the sauce. You will need about four to five medium-sized beef steak tomatoes. Chop, chop, chippy chop, here we go. And add them to the blender, plop. Next, add one third freshly cut ripe pineapple. And if you can't get this, you can use canned. Next, add all of this celery, I don't know what to say, two sticks, three sticks, I don't know. Chip chop it up and add it to the blender. Add some cilantro, as little as much as you like. Five cloves of garlic, peel them and add them. One standard size purple onion, garlic salt, use a liberal amount, and oregano powder. Put the lid on and blend until smooth. Oh, we forgot to add sugar and a spoonful of salt. Now, oil up your pan with extra virgin olive oil. Put some flour onto your counter and knead your dough. Now, this is a little tricky for us. Please don't hate. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are we doing? Where am I? What year is it? Okay, now, <laughs> make sure you preheat your oven. Add the sauce to the pizza, just like so. And the best part, the cheese. First, the ricotta cheese. Yummy, yummy, just like so. And we're gonna use an entire pound of freshly shredded cashew cheese to put on top. We don't have regular pepperonis, so we're gonna add sausage. Chip, chop up two links and add them to the top. Finally, add your vegetables. We are using yellow pepper and pineapple. Hurry, put it into the oven, do the hokey pokey, and you're done. Mmm. <laughs> you have to smile for the camera, say noodle. Ah. Yay! So cute. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna include that into the video. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. Here, we have his little perch here. Remember what I did yesterday? I think that's a good system. All right, so you climb over there and you'll be able to get some. Yes, you will. <gasps> you guys, the pizza has cooled down. I mean, I can pick it up now. So I am gonna cut it. So here we go, Mr. Noodle. <gasps> <laughs> it's like it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess, but you know what? <gasps> Look at the cheese. It's okay. I mean, it was cooked a little bit. Hear the crunch? Yeah. Oopsie. Oh. Ow. Wait. Okay, and we're gonna do one. The almond cheese legit melted. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's like soup in the middle. You guys, I'm so sorry, it's so white, I'm sorry. Look at that, it's like soup in the middle. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, oh, yes. So I'm gonna take a giant piece out. And we're gonna take, how about, oh, small little piece, let's be nice. Nice today. Oh. Right, can you see the dough really rose? Yes. I know Mr. Noodle looks delicious, so we are still learning on how, the dough apparently has to be very, very thin, but I'm gonna have my first bite. Oh, yes. Oh, here, up. You come over here, you come right here, and then you can sh we can share together. All right, you guys. This is delicious. Mm. Want a pineapple? Here you go, Mr. Noodles. Noodle. There you go. Come here. Go on. Bite it. You can do it. Oh. Oh. I just swallowed a lot of dirt. <laughs> There's a brick under here to hold this up. I licked my finger after I got touched with dirt, but that's okay. Okay. 
Mm. What is wrong with me? I'm crazy. You guys, you will be so proud of me. I have this big salad. I'm gonna straighten it once. There's no avocado in here. There's vinegar, corn, pickles, flowers. I, yeah, like flowers. Um, tomato, and some pepper that I used from the pizza. Along with some vinaigrette. And then I mushed it all around with my hands. Mm. Aren't you proud of me? Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna chew really good. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> it's really nice. I just wish it had it. We don't have any avocados. Just sad. Isn't that a sad day when you have no more avocados? Mm. Mr. Noodle, I'll give you this. He's like, I don't know how to hold that hole. There you go. Pick it up with your hand. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Mr. Noodle's there. He's there in spirit. No, no, no I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna move a little over. Oops, I'm so sorry. So, okay, before I started this, I made a little post on Snapchat and I said, you guys, mm, please send me some questions. What do you wanna know from me? And we are gonna see what you guys say. Mm. Yeah, the dough's too thick, however, the flavors are amazing. I'm very hungry, so it's very nice. Oh. I had literally like the best papaya I've ever had this morning. It was a small little papaya. Mm. Here we go. Did you know parrots are among the cleanest, one of the cleanest animals? You guys would say his germs are flying onto my pizza. There's like nothing he could give me. Because he's not exposed to outside, that's why. My favorite musical. Thank you, Figgy Picky. Ma, I'm sorry that you're homesick. Yeah. Tomorrow, hopefully you feel better. What I like to do when I'm sick, even though you didn't ask, but I will just say, because I know other people have, I get that comment all the time. What do you eat when you're sick? Well, naturally I get, usually, well, it depends when I'm sick with it, but usually less appetite, but then I'll have vegetable soup. One of the only things I can stomach is avocado, seriously. Like, sugar is freaks me out. So, my favorite musical, piece number two, would be, it's so hard to decide, my favorite. I really like Spring Awakening. You guys don't judge, don't say anything about my pizza. First of all, this dough is not gonna turn brown. Mm. And yes, it's fully cooked this time. I remember last time. Mm. Um, I played Spring Awakening, the musical. I was the violinist for that. No, not like the actual Broadway thing, but a theater in Washington, D.C. did it, and I got the part. I, was, I just love the music. Mmm. What are you guys eating with me, by the way? Mm. I know it just looks like cheesy bread instead of the pizza. <laughs> it's so big. Oops. Um. Recently, I've been listening to Lion King a lot. You guys know Lion King? The musical. I put on that soundtrack, that, you know, there's YouTube videos of the soundtrack. I don't know if that's legal or not, but people have it there. Or know it, I think you can monetize it, but it doesn't go to you. It goes to the right owners. <clears throat> that happened to me once. I was using a, like a copyright song. And YouTube, sometimes they give you a choice. Sometimes they'll take down your video if the person gets upset. 
you need a lot of proof to back that up. But if it's something very popular, like everyone knows, then um, like I use just a pop song. And so they're like, we won't take your video down, but any money you make from this will go straightly to the owners of this song. So like I'm making Sony more famous, you know? I'm making Sony richer, yay. But while I'm editing my thumbnails, while I'm, that's like my main thing. Oh, while I'm searching for like popular tags to use, I listen to Lion King. <gasps> one by one, like, is so amazing. So thank you. Let me have another bite of my salad. Make you guys happy. You know, this is making me happy too. But I have, you guys, I eat salads like multiple times a week. It's just, what you see is one meal out of three or four meals. Okay. No. Do I feel isolated living in an area where, where most people speak Spanish? Is it frustrating? Sometimes yes, but most of the time no, and I'll tell you why. I think since my like job is social media, I still get that social stimulation, I get that requirement met by like, you know, getting snaps from you guys and making videos about my life or talking about my struggles or talking about my oh today was a great day, let me eat pasta and tell you about, it, you know? Um but yes it is it's still different than one-on-one. -on -one. However, you know, I live with Orlin, so. <clears throat> but every once in a while, I say yes. So if I didn't have a job on social media and I didn't have Orlin in my life, oh my gosh, I would, I, I would first of all, I probably wouldn't be here. Because my brain's very slow, it struggles. I don't think, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I will learn Spanish. I'm, maybe I'm just, I mean, that's terrible to say, right? Like, I, I shouldn't try harder. Hmm. I think I should try harder. Okay, someone said something about oatmeal, and they said it tastes good. Okay. I'm not gonna talk, talk about that. Okay. Have I worn makeup? Have I worn makeup? Asks this person, hi. Um, like Julie Graceffa style makeup. I used to like play with it with my friends when I was in college. Wow, it's like liquid cheese. <laughs> Noodle, I am a mess. I played with it in college and sometimes I would put stuff on my eyelashes. And in college, just my eyelashes. I am too foundation. Once I got over my acne hump, my, <laughs> my little struggle of having acne, my skin's always been, even now, like, no matter what, like, every once in a while I get some breakouts, but in general, my skin has been okay. So no foundation or anything, but eye stuff, yeah. Maybe I should do that for a month, but, you know, just something fun, something different. Comment down below if you want to see me in makeup. When did you first, <gasps> that flew by so fast, what does it say? Okay, I replayed your snap, so hopefully I don't have to replay, because you don't, Snapchat only allows you two replays a month or something, or a day, or I don't know how it works. I usually don't replay snaps, but sometimes, sometimes I do. Mm. And she just asked, number one, when did I realize I wanted to do YouTube? Well, it's, um, I'd say a year ago. That's when I was like, okay, I really want to try my best and like put all my, let's try to make this, let's see if I can do it. Mm. And the second thing she asked, how are you doing? He's sprinkling Parmesan cheese onto my pizza for me. Um, my favorite thing to do in my free time, she asked, and that is listen to music. Mm-hmm. Music is my go-to best friend.
Yeah, the almond cheese melted. That's why it's all right. I've because we put almond cheese on. You know, you saw. Mmm. It's like eating salty, creamy, cheesy bread. Mmm. Mm -mm. Salad. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, next. What is my favorite thing about living in South America? Remember I said it could get a little loading not talking one, but also it's a little adventurous. It's like, I don't know. It's like I'm living in my own world, which is kind of fun. <laughs> mm. I would say the landscape. Both the cities and the countryside. The cities are yeah, like the landscape. My cousin was just in Chile. I think I guys told you that. She's no longer there. Mmm, mmm. That cashew cheese. Oh my gosh. Now, obviously, it depends where you go. Oh, sorry. It's full. <laughs> You're so full. I know. Look at your little tummy. I see it. Um, I just the camera battery. That the um, camera back on. Um, obviously, it depends where you go. You know, where we are is very different than. Oh, excuse me. You know, like the, the country royal life versus versus the capital, versus the volcanoes, versus the de there's a desert here, versus the beach. Like, everywhere is different. Uh, the, be the beach, you know, every it depends where you go. It's like saying, what's it like to live in South America? Uh, in North America. <gasps> okay, I get Noodle's blessing. This is blessed by Noodle. I am so lucky. I got your, <gasps> excuse me, your blessing. Is life says this person how's life life is okay life is good life is life what can I say about it it's never perfect and there's always exciting times I remember when I broke up with my second boyfriend I was so depressed and I felt like my whole world was coming down. I didn't know what to do with my life and I was going crazy. I would play this same song over and over for two songs. One of them was Jar of Hearts, the, 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 the Glee version. The other one was Dumbledore's Farewell. Now, these are not very happy songs. You guys know Dumbledore's Farewell is like sad. Actually, I cried during that scene and I, I ne listen, <clears throat> this is why I played Dumbledore's Farewell because I remember one time I watched that movie with him. <clears throat> and I wasn't really affected that much by Harry Potter. I mean, it was very interesting. I thought the movies got a little worse as they went on. In my opinion, what well, you guys think, the first one was just amazing. The second one was good too. It, but they changed the directors. They changed the the orchestration. They changed the, the sound composer. They changed the casting director. They like, it got changed. So obviously, <clears throat> I don't know. I just love the style of the first one. Mm. They use different cameras. Uh oh. Potty break. Mm -hmm. There he goes to Orlin. It's 
just us now. Um, what am I talking about? Oh, yes. So I watched Harry Potter with him one day in bed, blah, blah, blah. And the, the scene came when Dumbledore died. I wasn't sad that Dumbledore died. It was the music that really spoke to me. He like pulled on my strings. Oh, it was just so great. And every time I hear that song, obviously, I think of him. Oh, he's over there asking for more food, even though he already ate. Why am I talking about this? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know? You're talking about the sad songs you would hear after your second breakup? Yeah, but why? No one asked about that. Because <laughs> <laughs> you like to ramble? Help! <laughs> My brain! You're eating some nuts for brain. <gasps> you guys, okay, some of you, a specific person was like, you need to eat more walnuts and flax seeds. Should be having like three handfuls every meal, every day. And so this was full two days ago. And I'm like, okay, and honestly, cause I don't really eat these that much, but maybe I should. Walnuts. I ate the whole bag. Okay, these are my, this is what I get. It's in Spanish. No one says day, no goals. No one says day, no goals. I ate the whole bag. I was like, okay, okay, fix. Um, This will fill me up though. I have to eat this. This is nuts too. So. I got my cashew nut, I got my almond nut, I got my Brazil nut, and my walnut nut. And so don't say, I don't eat healthy. No. I don't know why I was talking about favorite time, do you know? Here we go. Who is my favorite YouTuber? Oh, uh, you didn't see it. Who's my favorite YouTuber? <clears throat> one, just one? Oh gosh. I really like. Nick Akado cut that part out when I was being very sloppy. I'm sorry. The Psychic Twins. I am obsessed with the Psychic Twins. They just posted something, they pinned it on their Twitter and was like, Happy New Year's time travelers, we will see you in the future. They believe in time travel. It was like, it's just amazing. It's just like, do I go back in time? Do I go forward in time based on what I do in this life? What determines where I go? What they said, they predicted like, you know, in a thousand years, um, people are gonna start be leaving planet Earth on hubs into other planets. I believe them. It's just so fascinating. Mm. They're, they seem very like worldly and well-rounded. And obviously since they have this gift to like predict everything that happens in the future, you can't help but be fascinated by that, right? And they're new YouTubers, but I've watched everything they've done and I love them so much. And they're kind and collective and all this type of stuff. Okay, this person wants to know how long has Orlin and I been together? The answer, four years, three years. We've been together before we were together. That's the thing. We lived together, traveled together, ate together, slept in the same bed together before we were together. You know what I mean? In a tent. We slept in a tent. We got attacked by chinchas, bed bugs. Oh, I still have to tell you my uh, Guatemala story time. I'm gonna save that for a rainy day because I'm just um, I'm going through some stuff right now. So 2012, <clears throat> we met on Facebook. 2013, we met in person. 2014, I moved in. And then April of 2014, I think we became a couple. So this April will be three years. Two years? Oh, wait, I don't know. Help my slots. Help my brain. 
I could have sworn I would be able to, I will eat this whole pizza, but I was like, oh yeah, that's so easy. But since the crust is so much, Nice. I just wish it had avocado. Okay, next snap. And we are literally, we're down to a crust. You guys, by the way, I never ever waste food. Everything I make, I always eat. Cause trust me, like food waste is a big thing to me. And besides when I did the hot chili pepper challenge. Um, <laughs> those swam bye bye. <laughs> Compost them on my tomato plants. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did not eat them. If I don't finish on camera, I finish later on during the day because I eat a lot. Like what you see here is one fourth or one third of my meals. Mm. Okay, this says. What's something you and Orlin do regularly, inside joke, oh, any rituals or traditions we have together? Do you want to go there? No, I think something should stay private, right? Oh, Wendy Williams, sorry. Oh, yeah, Wendy Williams. <laughs> no, 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 we don't like, that's not a ritual to watch her. But, you know, I've watched a few of her episodes, and she says, everyone has their kitchen table talk. Their kitchen table talk. And she's one of these people that, you know, I, it's hard, it's very controversial. I don't, I don't want to say it's necessarily right, but I want to say most people do it and they won't admit it. You have kitchen table talk. What you say on the internet, what you say behind, what you say in public, what you say to your friends, is different than what you say with your partner or your mother at the kitchen table behind closed doors. <clears throat> I'm not saying that's right, but people do, everyone, even us. But shouldn't you also be able to have that option to keep your true thoughts to yourself or you know, with another person or a close family member? Is that a bad thing? Is it unnatural to do that? I don't know. We have a ritual of watching the view. And that's more of my thing. You don't really like the view. I, I just like because I like Whoopi. Whoopi, she is a video shape, 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 shape. She's vicious. I yeah. like that. Yeah, it's entertaining. You know. So, okay, so we watch Whoopi Go Goldberg on the View for entertainment. That's one thing we like to do together. This February, we will be snug in bed. Watching House of Cards on my oh laptop. Oh gosh, my addiction. It's a TV show. Mm. We like eating together. Yeah. I can. I'm thinking of a few things here. I'm gonna cut this part out. <laughs> We're so bad. But listen, everyone. Listen, I get to choose what I tell you. <laughs> you do stuff that's just for us to know about. <laughs> and so do you. Don't lie. <laughs> okay. Did I like school lunch as a kid? Oh, this is a great question. So that's their school lunch, it looks like. Lenny. I actually really enjoyed it. I'm not gonna lie. Even when I went vegetarian, it actually got even easier and better because I love cheese. Yeah, I remember in elementary school, we had little hash brown tater tots, or potato tots. How doesn't like potato tater tots? Peanut butter jelly sandwiches, peanut butter marshmallow sandwiches. They called it Fluffy Nutter and PBJ. Yes, you can't go wrong with that ever. Actually, how many of you would like to see me do a peanut butter and marshmallow sandwich or a PBJ mug pop? Mm. And um, pizza, french fries and milkshakes. That was middle school. In middle school, I ate pizza, french fries, and milkshakes. 
It was the same thing every day. Not milkshakes every day, but I loved their peanut butter milkshake. Oh my god. And you get your carton of chocolate milk that was always tasty. I had my slice of pepperoni or usually cheese pizza. And um, a little side of fruit so you get a little sweetness. The side of french fries sometimes if I had extra money on my account. And that was that. Like, And then when I went vegetarian, oh. talking about, you know, like freshman, sophomore year of high school. <clears throat> I, well, for, before I did that, I would eat like ham sandwiches, subs. Those were delicious. Maybe I was lucky. Maybe some of your lunches in schools are just atrocious. I've seen the, the photos. It's like hashtag thanks Michelle Obama. It's a thing on Twitter. I don't know if that's the hashtag, but it's like Michelle Obama. Like she changed school and it literally looks gross. Like it would be like a rock hard stale piece of this, a bite of it, like a whole apple. And like, it would just like look really unappetizing. But when I went vegetarian, then I um, would just get double cheese subs. So I get mozzarella cheese or cheddar cheese with uh, cheddar jack cheese or just extra cheddar cheese. And <laughs> that was not a problem. I kept eating pizza. Like, I loved school. I, everyone complains about the school lunches, but I really liked. Hmm. Maybe this is why my mukbangs are so plain or like, I find them so amazing, even though you might be like, oh, that looks gross. It's because I've never been too picky. I mean, well, I take that back. I've never liked seafood. I was very picky about that. Never liked spicy things. I was picky about that, but, but, but I mean, it was just, I ate general things. Okay. That's all the snaps so far. Oh, wait, no. What is my favorite ice cream, says this snapper. Why, well, I, I, oh, I just mentioned peanut butter milkshakes. Let's let these load. What is my favorite thing about being on YouTube? My favorite thing, honestly, I don't want to like get into what's going on again because <clears throat> I just need a breather from it. But you guys know what, like, I was like doubting things and just uh, being a little confused and conflicted with just with my life. And since I am a YouTuber, I share my life. Yeah, while I got lots of hate and people who don't understand me, that's perfectly, I don't expect, most people are not going to understand me. I, you have to be in my shoes to know what I'm going through, you know? But I got lots of people from all over the world, lots of people. Email. I mean, emails are coming in crazy, in cra like crazy. Just yesterday, I got an email, a uh, Facebook message from a guy that I used to be Facebook friends with like three years ago, four years ago, and then I changed my Facebook. He's like, I don't know if you remember me, but you know, he was doing the same thing I was doing, and now he's also going through what I'm going through, and he's been, he's, my favorite thing is knowing that I'm not alone. And I know there's other people out there that can benefit from my ideas or benefit from anything that I put out there. Seriously. There's this um, gardener lady I love watching because her personality is amazing. I'm not a gardener. I know nothing about gardening, but she's funny. And then she does things and it's just like, oh my God, because she's talking about succulent plants a lot. And I have lots of succulents. And she makes me feel good. And I sent her comments on YouTube and I found her Facebook page and it's like this connection, which is so, that's what I like. Cause I'm a real person, you guys are real people. I'm not having to be censored, I'm not having to lie for you, I'm not having to like work for a company. I mean, that is all great and all. But the amazing thing about YouTube is you can just really express yourself to how you want. And other people who are real like you, that also aren't working for censorships, will be able to rate, relate. Not all, but some. And that's what's important. So, that is a very complex way of me saying why I like being a YouTuber. My favorite thing about it. And that is connecting with you guys. And Cynthia wants to know, I cannot believe you opened up my snap. I did, I, I opened up everyone's. Can you or can you not? Huh? How was my Christmas and New Year's? Nice, but a little, I don't know. I remember I was feeling like I really wish I was with my family. Cause Orland's not very traditional and 
I'm not very traditional. So you have two non-traditional people and we're like, oh, it's Christmas. And my family's not very traditional either, but the sense of being with people and being around a Christmas tree and playing board games and telling jokes, all of a sudden it makes it more, seem more traditional, funner. Mm. I've really devoured this. I have the crust left. Let me keep on going. So thank you. I hope you had a great Christmas yourself and New Year's. New Year's, same idea. You guys saw my other mukbang where I talked about my New Year's. Ugh. Cow. How am I today? This person wants to know. Nick, how are you today? She's watching me instead of studying. Naughty, naughty. Sorry, I had to change the focus. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I am okay. I'm okay. Um, oops. Yeah. I'm okay. My favorite part about today was actually waking up to Miss Kitty curled up at my head. <laughs> and her purring is so therapeutic. Actually, or Orlin, what did you say about kitty cats purring? It matches your frequencies? It matches a str uh, frequency that's good for healing bones. <laughs> you know that? Cats can help he heal your bones because their purring frequency helps to... That sounds like... Craziness, is that like legit? I actually think it's legit. I've heard many of the veterinarians to work for talk about that. Oh my, or at least to work at vet hospitals all the time, but. Well, that's amazing, right? So. They do that to heal themselves, I think. Yeah. Heal themselves? Oh, because they have not nice, so they fall so much. <laughs> they break their bones nonstop. Miss Kitty will do backflips and land on her face. She'll ju she'll like jump up the curtains and fall backwards. She'll break her, but she's always healing her bones. That's why they purr, okay. Well, you know, it was nice. Um, feeling that vibration. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds weird. Feeling the vibration. Oh, that sounds also weird in another way. Okay. Having her purr. And just, she just seems like there's no care in the world. Like, I'm here. I'm, I'm, every day is like a new day. You know, just seeing that simplicity and then and the animal, animal was just like, I really needed that. <clears throat> That's how I am today, whoever you asked. Ooh. You guys see what that says? Most horrible travel experience. Okay, well, she might be new, I don't know. But I put out a mukbang called <clears throat> um, Pig, no, Pork Skin, Deep Fried Pork Skin, Bacon and Cheesy Pasta. Bacon, Cheesy Pasta. Put up like a week ago to that. It already has like a hundred thousand views. But I do a story time and I tell you about a travel experience where I went to Mexico, somewhere in Mexico, and I went to a hotel and I had a bad experience with a random person and I tell you the story. So that was my worst travel experience. So you can check that out if you haven't, if you haven't seen it yet. Am I going to use the Instagram live feature? I don't think so. I think I'm going to stick with Snapchat. Mm. Catch the planets, the psychic twins. Catch the planets. Do we have a favorite movie? We don't watch movies we together. We don't because I laugh too much. That's not the reason. At the most awkward time. That's not the. Why do you say that? We watched a movie together about this like it was like this European like very sad movie and I kept laughing at all the sad parts. Yeah, you ruined the the yeah <laughs> the moment, the spark in the air. <laughs> uh, you know, I have fr I had this one friend. Oh, she was so funny, but everything was a joke and we tried watching Precious. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> yeah, and uh, you know, I'm trying to be like they have these scenes and the angles and the music and the acting and the it's supposed to make you feel a certain way. And if you have someone next to you laughing at Precious the whole time, it takes away from the, the moment, everything. It's like music. It's like if you are watching a live ballet and the person next to you is coughing, it, it ruins the spark. And I know everyone's different. What I find funny, what you don't find funny that's different than 
what you find sad, I might not find sad, your neighbor might not find sad. Listen, I get that we're all different. However, maybe, yeah, here I go on my little spiel. Yeah. But you were, you were good during House of Cards. Because every moment's precious. Every moment is edge of your seat. I get, I get very, I get the funnies when I watch it. Or maybe I have, I have an uncomfortable laugh. When I'm really uncomfortable, I start laughing. Like if I'm really sad, then I also laugh. No, I have a laugh. Oh. I find humor in sad moments. Okay. What music do you like? I like classical music. I like Broadway. What is your favorite vacation you've ever taken? Ooh, I like, there's just crust left. I think I'm gonna save this to dip this into sauce. I'm gonna finish my salad because this is very important. Listen, we'll also put some um, vinegar, like red, well not fresh. It's local organic plantain because a lot of people eat plantains here. Well, it's pl right plantain vinegar. Plantain vinegar, it's like this black stuff. I'm like, oh, that, that, that's not vinegar. It is. Delicious. Mm. It makes this taste better. And it's good for you. They say... Mm. What did they ask? They say... What did the snap ask? What's your favorite movie? Oh. For, okay, so... No, my favorite music. Said, and I said Broadway, Angley. You like Bon Iver. And classical music. Oh yeah, Bon Iver. He needs to make more songs though. I'm sick of listening to the fight. You guys thought, you know him? Bon Iver. He's very sad. Very, he's always sad. Always sad. See, well. How do I plan to spend 2017? This comes from Brianna. Oops. Eating. Eating. Dropping stuff. Dropping stuff. Take, I need to take more risks. Taking chances. 2017 is going to be about taking chances and taking risks. <clears throat> because I hope maybe I don't know good things might come of it and I know bad things will come of it too but what can you do stand still and not try I'm gonna stay consistent with my eating and that's all I've planned so far do I believe in conspiracy theories? Mm. I <clears throat> do with some, and I don't know if I really want to share because it's gonna make some people mad. You do like what? No. He likes to know all the conspiracy theories. I like to wonder. I'm, I'm a very. I, I think. I drive myself crazy thinking sometimes, and so I think, what if, what if, what if? And I listen, I, I have watched like so many, all of Shane Dawson's, of course, yes, but before he started doing them, it was so ironic when he started doing them, I'm like, oh my gosh, you're making videos on what I watch all the time. <sighs> okay, I'm getting full. I think I'm gonna say goodbye. There's, Lots of snaps coming in, but you guys, I'm getting really full. I'll play one more. This comes from Tracy. If you were on a desert island, what three things would you take and why? <clears throat> I would take Orlin because without him, I am screwed. An oven. I would bring an <laughs> oven and a fork. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. What am I gonna bake, coconuts? I don't know. <laughs> I could live off avocados. I mean, if you had to name one fruit that's nutritious, I think avocados are like the most nutritious in terms of like what's in them. I will bring a Costco. <laughs> because islands might have coconuts, like you said, or maybe bananas, but they're not gonna have avocados. Could avocados grow on an island that's sandy? It's too salty. Yeah, too, the sand, that's not good to grow avocado trees. It's mostly the salt spray that would kill them. Oh yeah? See, that's why I bring Orlin, because he will know what plant would live and die. So I'm gonna bring Orlin, a bag of Orlin and my computer to show you what happens. All right, that's my answer. So you guys, uh, thanks for hanging out with me today. And I finished the whole thing. Yeah, have a really good day. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you liked it, of course, and subscribe if you want to, because I'm here, excuse me, every single day. And by tomorrow, I might finally finish my box of nuts. 
Like I did. <laughs> I didn't think I would eat all of the walnuts, but I did. I ate. I just was like, oh, I need. I need. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.